Hello, hello, people and fans, wherever you are, you know, family vibe, liberty will deal with, natural, my vibe, a Nigerian shirt, maybe I'm from Nigeria, who knows, you know, they took my people, brought them to the island of Jamaica, right now I live in the States, in Georgia, but look, liberty will deal with, alright, today I'm going to hit you guys up with a, uh, a recipe that I hope you like. So this recipe has in it some black beans, chickpeas, uh, vegetarian baked beans. I'm gonna put some uh, some squash, green squash, and carrots and peppers and onions and okras and you're gonna see what it look like. You know what I mean? That's what we do all the time. Just hook it up. All right. Some potatoes are gonna be in it too, and it's gonna be have a nice little body in it. And I'll add a few things later that you'll see. Okay, so the first thing I do is open up my um, my cans. I wash them off first to make sure that, you know, I don't know where they're coming from, right? <laughs> anyway, my electric uh, can opener busted, so I'm doing the old school style. But it's, you know, it's part of the life, you know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing to it. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna drop it in that Dutch pot over here. Just pour it in, man. Mm. Yeah, I'm trying to get it all. Yep. Vibing. Just the vibe. Just the vibe. Yeah. Then I'm gonna open up the uh, chickpeas and the black beans. And rinse them off. I don't like the the oldness. Now the baked bean, I usually leave everything in there because it's, it's in that that tangy sauce. But everything else, I, I wash off the beans, man. Don't put that dirty water in there. Well, it's not dirty, but that stale water. It won't make it taste the way I'm doing it. All right. So let me do that, and then I'll drop it in. Okay. So I wash them in the can. You know, I'm a guy. I do that stuff. But still, it it rinsed off. I opened it, rinsed it out, drained it out. And I'm just gonna put it in. Yep. I got my chickpeas. I'm just gonna put that in. Now the important part start put adding the things will make it, you know, HB. All right. All right. Let me let me get that together. All right. You, not necessarily in any particular order, still, know, but I usually scrape up and peel up my potatoes. And then cut it up. Just, you know, just kind of clean it up a little bit. Then slice, slice and dice it. Don't make it too big chunks, see? So I slice it like this. And then come across and cut it up to, you know, bite size stuff where I do. Because it's got coming out. You see what I say? Alright. Yeah, man. Alright, now I'll finish chop up this and then come back again. So dice it up. Make sure it's a cut small quarters. Alright. And then you gotta see it, just chop up. Alright? Okay. I deal with the carrot now. Alright? Carrot, clean it up, scrape it. So me so my grandma teach me to do it. Scrape it off and then cut the ends. And then I dice up this character too, all right? And then a kung fu thing that I did later that just, they have to watch your finger, all right? Okay, I'm gonna dice it up so you have just small chunks because you see the, you see the, you see the bean mixer you now? The bean mixer you can use it as a dip. I'm not sure you'll feed it enough later, all right? All right, so. You can use that, that dip, you know. So I'm not sure the ingredients I'll put tonight, but my chop. Well, finishing up the carrot, you know. Get it in bites, because if you have it as a dip, and you get the chips tonight, you don't want a big piece of carrot come up on your thing, you know. All right, so chop it up like that. I'm gonna drop it in the pot. See you later. All right. I get another thing now. I put the 
the queen. Yeah, yeah, squash. Yeah. So I'm going to get that ready. So the same thing we'll do with the zucchini is bite size, slice it first, like this, you know, and then come back and again watch your finger, make sure you don't cut yourself, alright, and then cut cross, and then cut cross again, and get the nice size, you want to get about this size, you know what I'm saying, alright, okay, so just go on and chop it up. Until all right, so this is the queen or the green squash. Not even respect the name of the food still because a vibe food me deal with. All right, vibe food. So you won't find this in our recipe book. All right, so I drop this in the pot too. All right, all right. So the next thing I do is some mushrooms, some pepper, onion, right. And mm, and get some garlic out. Okay. Alright, some garlic. And then do the same thing to that. Then start chopping. Everything get chopped up. And go in it. Alright. So I'm gonna chop up this and then I'll bring it back. We're going to chop up the pepper too. Alright. Alright, chop up the garlic and you know? everything that are, that are on the plate, you know? Everything on the plate. Well, on the cutting board. You know, so my vibe Nigeria today. But this is not a Nigeria dish, right? <laughs> this is just a HB thing. Me just vibe whatever food more I put together and put together with my blend and my thing, right? Man, they know me, you know, so me fly by my own beat, right? Mystery, not a mystery, it's a vibration, alright? So, yeah, chopping in the mushroom now, the mushrooms. A Walmart, let me get them things. I wish I had my own little thing, go out, but I'm not a professional chef. I shop at the local groceries and, you know, but this is a meal where if you don't have all these ingredients, it's still work the thing the way you can work it, all right? The idea is to mix and blend and I tell and live up, you know? All right, so the only thing I left now is from my add, cut up some of the okra, right? And then cut up some ginger, and then put it in another pot, add some, you've had, you have a, add some water to it, cause them thing have to simmer down and steam, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Yeah man, get the okra, Cut off the head, I'm gonna cut off the stem and then chop it up again. That's how we do it, right? Always. So, we'll put them meal here because about four years ago, I'm gonna stop eating meat, right? And then realize that, well, I have to get creative because realize that meat was one of the, the, the main thing where it's gonna dominate everything that you think about when you think about food. So, to deal with a different vibe now, you have to come strong, right? You have to come with a different thing. And so, you realize uh, you have to come creative, get creative, and mix and blend, and yeah, that's just so it go. And you don't have to, you don't have to eat no meat. This now is going to be real strong. So you eat one bowl of like this, a one day meal this all right so the last thing now is putting the the ginger yeah we got it going on so the ginger dice up as love taste ginger and food but no matter a big piece you know so you just cut it so you get a little taste when you dip and come up you know you can all put this over rice and oh you want to eat it you know you know, 
me eat it, you can all make a sandwich when you're done with it. So you put it between two slices of bread or just use some bread and come in. Alright? So everything chop up now. Alright? Everything chop up now. Make it simmer down. See this? You have the onion, pepper, mushroom, you have the ginger, the okra. You see? All them things are there. And then we have the potato and thing already in the pot. So I drop the scene. And we're gonna go on and make it simmer down now. I've had some water though, you have to have water. Alright, see it there? Yeah. Alright. So only thing left now is get my water. I'm gonna pour my water in. You wanna be able to see. See the water, alright? Cause you want it to simmer down right. No. Last thing I'm gonna put in. It's something where you only need to even not think about but put some curry in it now, right? Some curry and say the curry now are gonna make it nice and with the liberty thing now, curry good for the everything, right? So may I put my curry in, yeah, put that in. You can be generous, but may I save my curry because more and more for later, all right? And you know, say so the corona thing shut down everything, so you have to, you have to go and um, manage your, your ingredients, you know. But the patch, I you know, the patch are going to last a while, right? So you can turn it, make sure so things now sit, sit down from the bottom, right? Alright, yeah, you might need, my God, some more water because, you know, I want it for set, alright. Everybody knows say uh, if you don't want things for sticking on your pot, you have to put some oil. The best oil you could have still, you know, if you have um, palm oil, you know. If you have palm oil, them things they would have been nice. Alright? Yeah. But I'm not on a palm oil today. Alright? If I did a Nigeria, you know, I could have, probably would have palm oil. Yeah, man, I got some more water to it, though. Because it look like, you know, come up, you know. I just the vibe, you know. I don't know, farm line, you know. No formula, it's just vibe. When y'all cook, well, when y'all cook the HB way, Hugh Broderick on the scene, you know. I'ma just put that in. So you see the water come up now, and you know say the potato and the carrot and everything I get for it, you know. And the bean there in there, right? So I'ma turn it up. You see the bean, right? And the potato and everything. All right, so that's how I cook down. So, yeah, start to start now. Well, you know, I'm not going to pause it and come back because the video done run already. Anyway, that's another episode of HB Healthy Living. Yeah. So go and watch some more video. Make some comments at the end if you feel like it. If not, live it to where I deal with. All right? Respect and manners.